CLNS Media Patriots Roundtable. I'm your host, Nick Weiss. I'm here with Marvazan and with Mike Molyneux. Guys, with the offseason coming up, the Patriots have a lot of holes to fill, specifically at the receiver position. There are a lot of guys out there, a lot of names out there, or a good chunk of names out there that the Patriots could sign to bolster this roster a little bit to actually get some weapons for whoever the quarterback may be. But the key word there is free agents. They are free agents. They get to decide where they go, obviously. you got guys like Chris Godwin. You've got guys like Juju Smith-Schuster, Allen Robinson, so on and so forth. You get, you get the gist. With Tom Brady gone and Rob Gronkowski literally coming out of retirement to go play with Tom Brady in Tampa Bay, do free agents, do you guys think free agents are going to want to come here? Is this a free agent destination still without Tom Brady? Or are the Patriots going to struggle to get free agents to actually sign here? Mike, let's start with you. What do you think? I think it was, might have been Rex Ryan who had the comments along the lines of, you know, free agents don't come to New England to be, care, be careful for right with Rex Ryan comments. <laughs> <laughs> he said something along the lines of players, free agents don't come to New England to play for Bill Belichick to come to play with Tom Brady. And I heard that and I was I just what is is this guy nuts? Like you have to understand Brady, yes, greatest quarterback of all time, a superstar, but he would be the first to tell you and preach about and speak upon the culture that has been built in New England over the past 20 years, the Patriot way, everything that the organization's about. And any player that's come through the organization that's played under Bill Belichick will tell you about the Patriot way and, and the culture that's been built over the years. Ever since, you know, Kraft took over and ever since Bill Belichick became head coach a few seasons later, you know, it's been a culture that's been built over the years. Tom Brady has been great to be a part of that, been the, one of the leading players within that. But players for over many years will talk about that. You know, uh, Randy Moss, uh, Teddy Bruschi, guys who've maybe played for many years in New England or only a short few years, they all speak about it. So for, for people to maybe think that New England is no longer a destination that players will want to come play in because Brady's gone, I think that's just complete nonsense. Yes, a superstar player no longer is in New England. I get that. But that doesn't change the fact that the team necessarily has didn't have a shift in ownership. They didn't have a, a shift in, in coaching. Nothing really changed within the culture, within the organization, other than a great player leaving. Yeah, they struggled last year because – the GM, Bill Belichick, you know, made some poor decisions probably in putting a solid team together. But I don't think no one really looked at the New England Patriots organization and says, well, they're not the same team that they've been over the last 20 years because some major changes happened. Yes, Tom Brady leaving is major. But other than that, culture-wise, I don't think nothing, anything has changed in New England. So I do feel as if if the Patriots were aggressive and they go out and go after free agents, what free agent would, wouldn't – what good free agent – who is getting an offer from the New England Patriots wouldn't tell themselves, look, this is a great winning organization in New England. They know how to win. You know, a lot of sometimes free agents are coming from cultures where they've just been losing, 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 losing their whole career. They want something new. They want a winning experience. They want a winning organization. If you get a call from Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots, I don't think many free agents are going to take look at that phone call and say, nah, Brady's gone. I'm all set on you guys, on the Patriots. I'm all set. I don't think that's the case at all. I think the Patriots in New England is definitely an organization and a destination that free agents will look at. And if the opportunity's right, if the money's right, they'll def they wouldn't, they wouldn't second guess the decision to possibly sign with the New England Patriots. When you say that a superstar left, I don't know if it's a superstar. I think it's, the <laughs> superstar. Not just a superstar. And I think I Agreed. think that's a major that's a major problem, I think, with the Patriots because whether people like it or not, I know I'm gonna upset I'm gonna upset some boomer Patriots fans here. Whether people like it or not, fun matters now. <laughs> it does. Am I wrong? These guys care about having fun. You look at the Steelers, I mean I personally don't love this part of it, but you got two of the receivers making TikToks left and right. Fun matters now. And you might have been able to put that aside 
as a free agent when looking at the Patriots because it was a ticket to the Super Bowl. Past 20 years, you had Tom Brady here. It was a ticket to the Super Bowl. And if not, it was a ticket to getting close to the Super Bowl. I don't know if it's that anymore. You look at one of these receiver free agents, and he's going to look at this team and go, who's the quarterback? Who's my quarterback who's going to get me anywhere? I think before, the, if the smartest move for the Patriots would be to get a quarterback, whether it be Matt Staff or Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, very low percent chance for Deshaun Watson to come here. But get a quarterback in here first that a receiver could trust and then go after the free agency market. Make a trade. Make a trade when you can. Marv, what do you think? Yeah, uh, I want to just go back to your fun comment before I continue. I don't even think it's fun that matters. You know what it is? It's brand. Brand matters. You know, you see you see the receivers dancing and having a good time. Their brand just went up a thousand. Juju Smith's brand is huge now. Whether whether he gets popped in the in the football field for it or not, he built a brand for himself. And he really right. hasn't I even do. been great the past two years. Say again? He hasn't even been great the past no. two years. But people but know him because of the, the dancing and the TikToks. Exactly. Yeah. Well, right now, NFL players, they see the NBA players and how the branding is there and everyone knows them. More and more lately, we're starting to recognize, you know, the common – the common NFL fan is starting to recognize some NFL players due to them building their own brand. So that's one thing, which goes into your um your question, Nick. Is New England a free agents you know, based place where free agents like to go there? There's three things that determine whether a free agent will go to your team. One is the reputation, the reputation of the team. You know, we all know New England's reputation is hard, hard nose, tough, get to it, but winning. You go to other places, you hear other teams, you're like, ah, uh, their reputation is not really winning, but I might get some playing time, I might get some extra cash, whatnot. That's one. Reputation. Two, coach. Do they have a solid, a solid coach? Is this a coach that they, you know, that is going to make them work? Bill Belichick. We don't need to say anything. Greatest coach of all time, but we also know. It's not always Randy Moss and Teddy Bruschi saying nice the nicest things about Bill Belichick. You also get the other side of players like, yeah, I couldn't, I just couldn't, I couldn't play for Bill Belichick. And the third and the most important thing of them all, the quarterback. Whether, whether it's a defensive free agent or even an offensive free agent, it's the quarterback. Do you have a quarterback? Right now on Madden, it would be default player one. <laughs> right, I probably put my picture on there and, and see and see how I do. Create a, <laughs> I create a player, make them all 99, everything. So right now what's hurting the Patriots out of the reputation, out of the coaching, is quarterback. They don't have a quarterback. And if they do not sign a quarterback the first day of free agency, they're going to struggle getting getting free agents to come here. If they want to wait for the draft or if they want to pull what they pulled last year and try to get some random quarterback that just didn't get signed all the way till May, June before training camp, it's not going to work out. Free agents are not going to want to go there. Bill Belichick and the winning reputation aura is not enough to bring free agents in there. You need a quarterback and you need a solid quarterback. Now, say you get... And it's not it doesn't even need a superstar, doesn't need to be Deshaun Watson, but say you do get a Matthew Stafford in here. Okay, Matthew Stafford, that brings in new life. You already know the rep the culture never changed when Brady left. The culture's <laughs> there forever. So you got the culture there, you got Matt, a quarterback as in, in Matthew Stafford, maybe you draft another young one. And free agencies look at free agents looked at him like, okay, the AFC East is still not the <laughs> the greatest thing ever. We obviously Buffalo Bills are the cream of the crop for right now, but we they still got some holes. Miami's nothing to sniff at. You're not scared of the Jets. Till Deshaun so, Watson sides with Miami. Yeah. If or that, gets I, traded there. If that happens, then that gets that gets a little scary. But free agencies can't come here. The Patriots need to get a quarterback. And I've been saying that you have to give whatever you can to get a great quarterback on this team. It doesn't matter if you have a, you have a stout defense. It doesn't matter if you have all the weapons in the world on offense. You need a quarterback before you do anything in this league. And I don't know why that's even a question to people. If Deshaun Watson is asking for four first, if the Houston Texans asking for four first rounders, you give them five. Like you need <laughs> a quarterback in this league, and then you build around it. 
You're right. I mean, they, they need it. You look at the team last season, and it was basically the same roster that Tom Brady had the year before. And just look what a different quarterback did. Still got yeah. you to the playoffs. Still made it to the wild card round. You still lost, but you need that quarterback spot filled up before any free agent even looks at this team. Because, yeah, you're not going to be a, a superstar wide receiver. Like, Allen Robinson isn't going to look at the Patriots roster and be like, hmm, that's a team I want to play for right now. No fun Bill Belichick and no play, quarterback. Sounds like a blast. He just wants to play under the greatest coach of all time. I don't even know Bill, if that matters as much Bill, anymore, though. Receiver coach? Huh? I said Bill Belichick's not a wide receiver coach. He's right. just the greatest. I, I think a big thing for the past 20 years was you look – at this Patriots roster, you look at the Patriots as a whole, as the franchise, and you go, wow, okay, this is a trip to the Super Bowl here. If not, the AFC Championship. Guaranteed. And, and that's not the case right now. That is not the case. If you're a guy like Allen Robinson, been in the league for a little bit, you want to get on a roster that's going to bring you to the Super Bowl, you're not looking at the Patriots right now until they get a quarterback. If they had Matt Stafford, I think that's a different story. They had somehow to Sean Watson. That's a completely different story. But for right now, is the way as the way things are set up right now, I don't see why this would be a team free agents to sign with. I don't. They got a lot of cap room, but I just don't know why a team, uh, why a free agent superstar would sign here. GM Bill Belichick needs to do something about that. GM Bill Belichick's got to help out head coach Bill Belichick because it seems like they're on two different wavelengths. <laughs> it seems like they do not like each other very much. CLNS Media, Patriots Brown Table, Nick Qualia, Marvazan, Mike Molino. Guys, we're going to be back next week. Uh, maybe a Super Bowl edition? Who knows? We haven't talked about topics yet, but we'll figure it out. Again, Nick Qualia, Marvazan, and Mike Molino. Guys, we will be back next week to talk some more Patriots with you. We will talk to you then. Thank you for watching.